All right, we are at La Coudere today, LCO. Just drove up here, took about 47 minutes, 50 minutes from Rice Lake, and I'm gonna fish it. I boated this lake before, it's crystal clear. I've watched a couple videos on how to catch walleye, and I'm just here to boat with my fiance and try and catch some fish. Let's go. Smallie to start the day, huh? Oh god. That's a beautiful fish, dude. Mm -hmm. It's just a little dinky, it's only 12 inches, but I looked over, my bobber's gone, I was ready to pitch jigs. We uh we tried a bar over there. Didn't try it, didn't didn't really catch anything, a couple bluegills. Then we tried some deeper water in 22, 25 feet, and we'd mark a couple fish and I dropped down that. I don't know what it's called, a moonshine lure, whatever it is, shiver minnow, and just keep pounding that thing. I caught perch with it, but there's guys walleye fishing and trolling this weed bed that we're on. So we're in the weed bed, like seven feet of water. Let's catch some more. Good smallie. Yep, keep keep the rod tip up. Yep, keep it keep it up. Yep, right in the boat. Ooh, that's a that's a large mouth. Bring it in, bring it in. That's a good bass. Rah! Are you kidding me, dude? Whoop! Just grab the line above it and then grab its Dang mouth. It. No, that's a smallie. That's bigger than the one I just caught. He's about ready to flop off. I know, well, I'm trying to. Just grab the fish. Here, you got her. Let me get your picture. Nice fish. Good release. Literally just flipped it out the ooh, he swallowed it to his ass. Smalley, back in the drink. Nice. That's a good Smalley. Same spot on the drop, bro. Look at that, you can see it in the water. <laughs> oh, good fight. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Get him in here. He's still a little guy. Nice. That's a good spot. Why did he go out of focus? That's a beautiful smallie. got my leash. I gave up on walleyes. We're just going to crush some smallies on oh, this house. Oh, he's bleeding so bad. Yep. Oh, the sun is upset. Probably the biggest one of the day. Catch and release. Oh, did it already get off? Yeah, it flopped off. I figured it was going to happen. I should have netted it. It was bigger. Oh, he's a hoss. I might need that net. Freaking hoss, dude. Could be the one I just lost. That's a freaking smallie, dude. We're just hammering them. Totally gave up on the walleyes. Now we're just the bobbers and leeches. We're sitting on a hump, and my bobber set it like four feet, maybe. Okay, it's not that big of a smallie. It's definitely two pounders, but I bet it's 16. It's a bigger one. Back in the drink. so dang good. Like, look at that. Oh! Ah. Yeah, good deal. 
little smiley mouth. A little smiley mouth. That's for catching some fish, huh? No backflips? trying to sleep in tan and actually no bobbers are flying under and I lost one that was probably as big so this is this is a smallie this is definitely funny. it freaking fights like tried to net that thing there's something about smallies on hooks bobbers leeches it's probably it's not even that big honestly really it's only 16 I ate a smallie in Canada that was or, Boundary waters that was like 19 inches. All right, just going back. <laughs> we just tossed the other big one back. And I turned around, my bobber's under, and I grabbed the pole, and the bobber came back up. I'm like, shoot. It went back under. I set the hook. I'm like, no, it's not as big. And all of a sudden, this thing gets pulled up. This is as big, at least. They're just good smallies. If I ate bass, this would be awesome, but I don't, I don't care for the taste of bass at all. Same thing. Chartreuse hook. We're sitting in about eight feet, fishing six feet down with this with the slip bobbers. This one is. Oh, that's way bigger. Last one was 16. Okay. Not going to show you guys that part. Seventeen and a half. All right, sweet. We'll get him back in the water. I know it changed the scenery, right? The last video you just watched, I was uh, slaying some smallies. Anyways, I'm off the lake. We got sunburnt, kind of just headed out. Ellie was getting tired and kind of nauseous. Honestly, we were out there for like ten and a half hours and really didn't drink any water. Smallie fishing great, walleye fishing not so good. I just need to learn some walleye lakes. So if any of you guys in northern Wisconsin watch this video and want to teach a guy how to walleye fish, send me a message on my personal Gabe Denzin or just comment on the channel and we'll get in touch. Otherwise, you guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down here. We'll see you guys in Canada.